Today we're gonna to be testing out a product to help you clean the roof of your RV. Rubber Roof 303 Cleaner. I've got one gallon of water mixed with five ounces of cleaning solution. I feel like I've got a really dirty roof and I just like to overdo it a little bit with the cleaner. You decide if you wanna follow the directions or add a little more. So far, I'm not impressed with this product. I'm doing a ton of physical work to scrub the heck out of this roof, and I'm barely even seeing a difference. Maybe I'm not seeing a difference at all. That's how bad this is so far. I wanna make note of a couple of things. I am doing this on a relatively cool day, probably in the 55 degree area. So it gives me more time to do a larger surface area without heating up and just kind of evaporating. The other thing to make note of, I wanna let this sit and see if the chemical can do some work on it without the abrasion, without the additional uh, mechanical action of me scrubbing. And so we're gonna let this sit and we will come back in a little bit and see how it did. Now I'm gonna upgrade to a heavy bristle brush and see if that helps get some more of this dirt off. Just as a test, I'm gonna do it in one area. So I think it's easy to see the center area where we use the hard bristle brush is much cleaner than the area that we didn't. I think this is not a magic serum by any stretch. I thought that maybe it would dissolve the dirt like it says on the bottle and that it would be a lot easier to clean this roof, but it appears that I'm gonna have to get down on my hands and knees and scrub really hard. Now I'm sure that the chemical is doing something. I just you know, was hoping it was gonna do a lot more. Keep in mind while you're doing this, the roof is wet, it's slippery. Even the recommendation on the bottle says, do not walk on a wet roof. You may need to be cognizant of the order of operation. So you work on a small, like a three to four foot section with the soap and the brush and have your hose ready right near you so then you can rinse it and move on to the next section. Dirt that is washing over the side of your RV could leave streaks down the walls of your RV if you let it dry that way. So make sure when you're done with each section, you rinse it really well with water. So here's my hose. I have the bulk of some of the weight sitting on my slide out. The key to why this is working is on the top of my ladder I have these notches that work really well to hold a hose. So all the weight of that hose is being held by that ladder. And that ladder is not the one that I'm using to climb up the RV with because the weight of that hose could make the ladder unstable. So that ladder's only job is to hold that hose. So here I'm gonna spend another 45 minutes or so to scrub the right side of the roof is where most of the dirt and stains have set in from the trees hanging over the RV. In a moment here, we're gonna take a look at how it came out. Okay, here's the final product. You can see streaks going down the side. That's to be expected, so I'd wash the RV when you're done. Overall, I'm not really impressed. Given how much work I had to do scrubbing with hard bristles, it really just feels like I took off more dirt than the product did. I will still be on the hunt for a product that dissolves more dirt. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss that future video or any other RV tips and tricks. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Make sure to join the Discord. If you have questions, you can chat with me there. And if you're looking to support the channel, you can become a patron. Go out to whatsmygear.com and click the Join Discord or Become a Patron button. Take it easy, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.